Okay, in order for the wheels to move, each upper and lower wheel has a knurl drive. The knurler is right here for the lower and underneath the, the water guard on top, there's one for each upper and lower. This valve activates this cylinder which will apply pressure to the knurler on the wheel. Each upper and lower has a hand operated air valve which pushes the shaft up against the uh, knurler wheel bracket and then that presses against the wheel. Those should be set at 40 to 50 PSI. Also on this side of the machine, you have your up pressure, which is your return pressure, bringing the, the weld head up, and your weld pressure here with a lubricator, which will put a fine mist of oil into the cylinder. We have and a, the down pressure is your weld pressure. Yes, yep. that's right. Also on this side, we have a water in, water out. This is where you're gonna hook your, your chiller. Your chiller will feed water will go into water in, return water will be the water out. That's the internal cooling. Internal cooling. Not external. This one here, we have a solenoid valve on. When the foot switch is activated, this opens up, allowing the water to spray on the wheels. So that's the external water. External circuit. water. Over here we also have a low and high tap switch. Low for less current, higher for more current at the wheels. And a one, two, three, four selector switch. Shouldn't have to move that very often. Also on our external water, we have a filter that will keep your water clean so nothing gets clogged up onto your, on your wheels. And underneath it, there's a, a heat, heat exchanger, which you will plumb your cool water to the one side that's open for you. We'll send a piece of hose with it. Okay. How about the uh, pressure switch? Pressure switch. You have a pressure switch here, which is a must on a seam welder. The heads come together. When this makes pressure, it tells the welder, okay, start welding and start the motor. That's your main safety on your wheels, right there. If okay. it doesn't have enough pressure, the wheels will sit there and wait and wait and wait, won't weld, till you get the right pressure. Up on top of the cylinder, you have an orange wheel adjuster, which will adjust your space between the two wheels. Right now, we could lower it down so we only have a quarter inch by Turning that wheel, it'll limit the upper head from going up too far. And the flow controls? Flow controls, you're controlling outgoing air. So if you want to have the head come up faster, you'd open that flow control. If you want to slow it down, you'd close it on each one. And I can show you how to do the speed. Yep. Okay. Inside the cavity of the machine on the floor is your motor and your gear drive. This knob here will adjust your speed. All that's doing is opening or tightening this pulley on, on the motor. And the more of that motor, you, it's just a snowmobile clutch type speed adjustment is all it is. Okay, first thing we're going to do is turn on the uh, 480 volt power. power. When you power up your machine, your weld schedule will be in the window. If there is no number in the window, then we have uh, a small problem. Once you turn power on, you're going to have to plug in your pump. Recirculating pump. 
Okay, this water will recirculate in the tank. Goes through a filter, and when the foot switch is activated, it'll spray on the upper and lower wheel to keep your wheels cool. Very important to have water on the wheels while welding. Okay, we're gonna set up for two pieces of stainless steel, 074. First thing we're gonna do is check our speed. Put the machine in no weld, and we are gonna count our revolutions per minute so we have the right speed for welding 074 stainless. Okay, we're at 50 inches a minute. The best way to do that is to mark the wheel, have the machine come down in no weld, the water will start, and the wheels will turn. The best way to do it is calculate your, your circumference and uh, see how many revolutions you get in one minute. So we're all set. Now we're going to do, dial in a weld schedule. The Intertron 108, we have 100 weld schedules in each A, B, and C categories on this topic. So right now we're going to work with schedule 00. You page through this controller with the red button. The star button will be right back to your weld schedule number. Squeeze of 50 cycles. Any time parameter on this controller is in cycle time. We only need one impulse. Cool time of 2. Heat time of 4. At 45%. and hold time of 15. We'll try that, put the machine in weld, in seam mode, and we'll try a weld here. Make sure the internal water is on also. See the water start. Then we get a weld. That's not a good weld. So we're going to turn up our heat percent. Go right to the heat percent button. Go up to 55%. We'll try, try another weld. We got a much better weld on each side. What we do now is we do a pull test from the very beginning of the weld and see if we get a weld done. 